Hi guys, today I'm going to show you my new workbench. So, I'm running out of space on my old one, as you can see. It's just a big mess of wires and test gear. And I decided to build a new one, much larger one. My existing one is just a table, uh, like an office table, which I uh, added uh, plywood shelving to. This, those shelves are custom built. Um, they're like uh, groove, uh, tongue and groove type construction with the screws holding it together and it's the whole thing is glued together it's not painted I haven't had the chance to paint it and uh, it's uh, bolted to the table using those uh, barrel um, nuts and there's a bolt below so this the bolt pulls the shelving against the table and those are pretty strong um, this is uh, I believe eight layer or, or nine layer plywood but uh, I'm not. I wasn't too happy with the size and uh, the the shelves flex a little bit under weight. So here's my new workbench. It's still under construction, and uh, the the it's gonna have um, three six uh, six foot by twenty two inches, I believe, shelves. Um, and uh, it's made. The whole thing is gonna be made out of uh, three sheets of uh, plywood. Uh, the plywood I'm using here is a uh, five layer uh, birch and uh, it's three quarter inch plywood there's two layers here this is actually one of the shelves um, there's only like a perimeter uh, frame to reinforce the shelf to prevent flexing um, it's extremely straight as you can see I spent a lot of time making it uh, straight and I tested this um, uh, with 200 pounds of pressure in the middle it flexes by about half an inch so it's extremely strong uh, shelf with pretty much no flex and uh, the support frame for the shelving uh, is going to be made out of a uh, two inch aluminum pipe and uh, this wooden box here for just centering the shelf and the threaded rod inside so the way it's going to work is the shelf sits on the threaded rod the shelf has this basically centering box on either side I made those out of MDF, which I regret now. Um, MDF stands for uh, medium density fiberboard, and uh, the problem with MDF is it has really high compression strength, but if you try to pull on it, it actually breaks off very easy. Um, you can see there's a broken one here, so this shelf is going to uh, stay with MDF packs, and then the new ones, the, there's going to be two more shelves on top, they're going to have plywood packs. So just like, just like here I have a table. And the way the threaded rod holds onto the table is I'm using these nuts under the table which uh, cut into the wood uh, that allow me to uh, bolt the threaded rod right into them without having a, a nut. And there is a counter nut below uh, just so that the threaded rod doesn't uh, spin when I'm tightening up the nuts on top. So there is a centering puck here, the pipe goes over it and then uh, this puck here and this one here will go inside the pipe around the threaded rod and that's going to keep the shelf centered where it belongs uh, on the rod and then uh, and make, it basically it will create an illusion that the pipe is continuous throughout all the shelves uh, even though it's discontinuous obviously uh, so it's just aesthetically so the, if, I, if I didn't use the centering box then one pipe will be here and the next pipe will be here the next one up and it will look all crooked from outside so the pipes keep the pipe uh, the pipe segments nice and straight, and the threaded rod is going to have um, uh, each shelf. Once I put it on, once I lower it onto the threaded rod, it's going to have a nut on top, which is going to press it against the the pipe and press the pipe against the table, making uh, providing the stability uh, so that the the shelf doesn't have any lateral movement. And then the next shelf is going to have another pipe segment, which is going to be about this one is, uh, I believe, uh, 17 inches, and then the next one is going to be 10 inches, and then the next one is going to be probably maybe 8 inches or so. So um, I want to have like most my most common test gear on the desk, less used test gear like I don't know power supply, LCR LCR meters on the me medium shelf, and the top shelf is going to have all the rare stuff like I don't know signal function generators and stuff like that, signal generators. Anyway, so this is just a quick demo. Uh, the table itself is single layer of uh, three-quarter inch plywood. Um, again, with the 
it's doubled up on the perimeter to create this nice to be able to create this nice beveled edge the edge is made with the router and the, the table the plywood is pretty soft but after I painted it with um, this paint here it's mini walks poly shades uh, it's like a stain and uh, polyurethane in one and it makes it pretty hard I actually did the drop test I dropped the drop the drill bit like this there's absolutely no marking so it makes it pretty hard which is just you know good enough for electronics work and that's it see you later